his orders were to allow Shepard Saray through. We didn't know he'd have a companion. <laughs> his Eminence Lord Bartlow is with a visitor at the moment. Please accompany me to the waiting room. This way. I cannot believe this. Please, wait here for the time being. What's that? Lord Bartlow is ready. Please wait here, Princess. Why? We were told that you were to receive different orders. About Marland? Yes. Please stay here. Fine. Alicia? It's about a yet unfinished job. Sorry, but I'm staying behind after all. This way. I shall guide you to the round table chamber. Did they leave her behind on purpose? I bet they did. The malevolence isn't gone yet. Sorry to have kept you waiting, gentle shepherd. Please, take a seat. Poison pot pie. Don't worry. I promise you, it's not poison. We simply felt it would be best to be closer to you. Let me introduce you. This is Military Chancellor Mathia, leader of the Royal Army. This is Professor Simon, administrator of the law in Highland. And this is Archbishop Nathael, the highest-ranking holy man in the kingdom. And last, the man who manifests the will of the king himself. Bartlow. I'm Saray, 
Thank you very much for your invitation. We have much to discuss. Whoa, Saray, I hope you don't trust them. He does indeed have spunk. That, or perhaps he's just that much of a simpleton. It's quite delicious. Though I would have liked to let Alicia taste it as well. What is your relation with Lady Alicia, if I may ask? We're just friends. She invited me to come to the outside world with her. How about we drop this silly game and have you tell us the real story, hmm? Mm -hmm. They're suggesting that you and Alicia are using each other, hatching some sort of nefarious plot together. I'm not using Alicia. The Shepherd does not do such things. Oh, he doesn't. I couldn't say. I've never actually seen a Shepherd before. So they doubt you. I figured as much. Believe me or don't, I don't care. Well, we do care. It would be quite the scandal if the royal family had produced a false Shepherd to curry favor with the populace. Careful. And so you're asking for proof? That I'm the real shepherd? <laughs> Truth be told, it matters not whether you're real or just a boy in a silly outfit. The issue is that regardless, the citizens are beginning to side with you. It's the nature of the people to yearn for some dramatic sort of salvation. An easy way to have their every desire fulfilled. True. The Shepherd in every era has always suffered greatly from the people's grandiose expectations. The common man is but a fool and a cur. It's an unfortunate observation, but that is the reality of it. But in fact, it is for that very reason that we need you. Me? Why me? I will be perfectly frank with you. We are asking you to work under us, Shepherd Saray. As the shepherd who will protect Highland, we want you to reinvigorate the people, boost their morale. The rampant disasters have rather dampened the people's spirits lately. It's very unfortunate for the council. Those ignorant fools, right when we're on the brink of war with Rollins. We will reward you handsomely, of course. This is your advance. If you're really all the rumors say, I hear that you're quite interested in ancient ruins, yes? Were you to side with us, surely this would be sufficient to facilitate your explorations and archival activities, would it not? <laughs> There's no point in siding with Princess Alicia. The princess is to be transferred to the city of Marland, where the epidemic yet thrives. They're sending her to a plague town? Surely even our spirited Princess Knight will learn her limits after toiling in such a star-crossed locale. Of course, if she herself were stricken with illness, I suppose she would have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> so then, Shepherd Saray, there's nothing to even think about, is there? I refuse. Darn. Guess they weren't the type you can sit down and talk with after all. Probably better this way. Proud words from a false shepherd. You and Alicia will both learn the hard way what comes from crossing us. Wait! What on earth is going on here? What are armed guards doing in the palace? These are Lord Bartlow's orders. <laughs> Lord Bartlow, what is the meaning of this? Stand down at once. Nice castle, but we're done here. Let's go, Alicia. I can fulfill my dreams without your help. And the same goes for Alicia. Indeed it does. Death to the knave shepherd who deceives the people! Stand back, Alicia, or you'll get hurt! Don't you think you're overdoing it here, Saray? Saray has just gotten too powerful. I don't know that I can. 
can. We just can't go on. This power. Could he truly? Lord Bartlow, we will forgive this transgression. In exchange, you will never threaten the Shepherd again. Am I being clear? Impossible. He'll plunge the kingdom into upheaval. And if by any chance he were to fall into Roland's hands. <laughs> I'd be more worried about your own neck if I were you. Who are you? Scattered bones. Assassins! Yes. That man approached us and tried to hire our guild to murder your princess here. <gasps> are you saying Lord Bartlow was plotting to kill Alicia? D don't be ridiculous! He says we're liars. Should we kill him? <laughs> Enough! I beg of you, please stop. The Kingdom of Highland needs this man. <laughs> You're all you're made out to be. Listen and listen well, Bartlow. We do not kill against our own honor. Understood. Why? He's fine. They didn't kill him. <coughs> not your usual assassins, are you? I'm impressed they snuck into the palace. Uh, apprehend them! They're the conspirators! Not good. Thanks to you, our work was quick and painless. Here's your reward, Fawn. 